welcome back to Rewild, where we talk about environment, psychology, and other interesting things. So today's episode is another one for my series, Get Healthy With Me, which are just some small tips and procedures that you can look into for your own life to increase your overall health, both mental and physical. I'm working on a really long video about weight loss that I had no idea was going to end up um, being so full with so many different tips and ideas. Um, and that one I realized I need to shelve for a little bit so I can spend the time that I need to editing it and making it really visually appealing. Um, so that will be published next weekend and I wanted to make sure to get something small out today. And this video I've been wanting to create for a little bit and it's just a very small piece of advice so it's just gonna be a short one today. And the advice around this is this concept um, that's kind of in opposition to the title of a book that I really, really love. So this book is called A Little Too Much Is Enough. It's been written by Kathleen Tayao, and I read it years ago, and it's this very, very beautiful story of old Hawaii. Um, I'm from Hawaii, and I'm part Native Hawaiian, and Kathleen Tayao really paints this beautiful, beautiful picture of Hawaiian culture. And her book title, A Little Too Much Is Enough, is specifically about food and about kind of having this sense of abundance and a little too much food in Hawaiian culture and in a lot of Polynesian cultures in general is enough. And I know that Hawaiians are not the only people who operate this way, and especially I think cultures that really appreciate big and beautiful women, as well as cultures who have experienced more systemic poverty, um, we tend to operate in this kind of a little too much is enough arena. Some of the most beautiful like communal food uh, sharing experiences I have ever had have come from back home in Hawaii. And I think I'm probably not the only one who has experienced like the auntie who looks at you, says you're too skinny and just starts filling your plate, right? And I love my culture and one of the things I want to share in this video is um, the word momona in Hawaiian culture means big and beautiful and juicy like the ripest fruit. And so from old Hawaiian culture, the idea of being bigger was considered really healthy. But it's really important to remember that back then when that language was being used to describe momona as big and beautiful, we were eating really different diets. We were pretty much exclusively eating things like fruits, vegetables, fish, and um, like kalo, taro, which was like a staple food back then. Today, a lot of my Hawaiian community is um, experiencing a lot of like diabetes and obesity because of modern Western diets. So I was thinking about this idea, this really cute phrase that Kathleen had in her book, A Little Too Much Is Enough, and how a lot of us from different cultures um, that subscribe to this, like we don't really think about it, um, but we've been taught you know, to put a little more on your plate than you think you need, or make a little bit more in the potluck than you think you need. I think the American version of like Thanksgiving and Christmas time, those are like holidays of excess that like a lot of people can universally um, relate to across the world that there are certain times when we gather with our families where we just like load up the plates and we have like all this delicious food and you know it reminds us of hearth and home so not everybody has weight loss problems but i would say that in america i'm pretty sure a majority of people are experiencing obesity so if you are not one of those people, then you know you can listen for fun, but this, this is more for people who are looking at targeting that specific area of their holistic health. This video and the one I'm posting next week are gonna be about weight loss in particular because I think that that's something that our community really needs. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go more into different types of holistic health and hopefully leaning back more into environmental psychology and green therapy and um, other types of, you know, alternative psychologies that are not necessarily focused on the niche of weight loss. So as much as I really love this book and I love the sentiment of really appreciating our native culture and how abundant it is and how we love big and beautiful women and we love to feed and nourish our communities, sometimes being nourished is also understanding your limits. and. As somebody who has lived under the principles of 
you know, a little too much is enough my whole life to the point that it affected my weight and my physical health. I realized, you know, in the last year or two that I wanted to kind of exercise the opposite, just, you know, being a modern person, eating a modern diet that's more processed. So the one idea that I want to leave people with for this week's video, if you are struggling with your weight, is the idea that a little less is enough, especially if you've come from a culture that tends to kind of preference like larger bodies and larger plate portions. Um, it is okay to kind of go against the grain a little bit or to kind of recognize maybe you eat that way at family reunion or at certain holidays, but um, for yourself, if you are struggling with your weight, the same simple sentiment that we've been programmed with, um, a lot of us, that a little bit too much is the perfect amount of food. Um, I've been reeling that back and I want to suggest that for other people. Eat just a little bit less. <laughs> and, you know, eat that with that same sentiment that Kathleen Taya comes to bring her beautiful um, depiction of multicultural enjoyment of food and family. That, you know, it is an act of love to give people a little more than you think they need or just to make sure that nobody is hungry, especially if you're coming from a community that may have experienced that before or a subsistence um, kind of culture. So a little bit less is enough is the thing that I would like my modern Hawaiian community who are experiencing weight loss issues and diabetes to think about and something that I'd like to offer to other people who are on this path. Like I said, next week I'm going to be posting a big doozy video. I'm going to spend like six or eight hours editing it and I realized like that's not happening this weekend. So this is just my little five minute kind of precursor to that and um, my recommendation for this beautiful book if you're interested in um, multicultural storytelling and things like that. But remember, don't take the advice <laughs> if you come from our culture or if you come from a culture that is similar of always giving yourself a couple bites extra. One of the most important ways that we can kind of start to slim down and heal um, our metabolism is by kind of starting to shrink our stomachs a little bit and getting used to those smaller portions. And people often talk about portion sizes, but I feel that this is like a unique idea to think about this in terms of culture and think about the fact that we are not loading our plates really big because of nothing, like we've actually been taught to do this a little bit. So just a, a small suggestion to learn, unlearn that and unlearn it in a really gentle way. You know, I know a lot of us are counting calories or thinking a lot about portions, but start with um, small behavioral changes. That's a big recurring theme in the Get Healthy With Me series. And just start with keeping a couple bites off your plate that you would normally put on there. Learning to, you know, um, stop at 75% full instead of 110% when you're like hurting. Oh, um, I know we can't always stick to that if like a family member who is like an elder is pushing that stuff on us, but do your best and especially learn to unlearn that at home if you're just eating with yourself or your immediate family. A little bit less is enough and a little bit too much is enough if you're cooking for other people and you come from one of these cultures. So check out that really cool book, but also if you're struggling with your weight, let's collectively unlearn that habit that may not be appropriate for a modern Western diet. Thanks so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing if this video or any of my other posts have helped you. And I'll see you next week with a much more juicy, very well-researched and uh, detailed video about some of my top weight loss tips that I hope will help people who are looking to improve their overall holistic mental and physical health. I'll see you next time. Take care.